uh, high students uh, with NTA uh, coming in uh, for uh, conducting of JE main, NEET and other entrance exams for higher education. A uh, lot of queries are coming in by students, you know, about the eligibility uh, that will be um, prevalent for JE main 2019. Today we are going to discuss about what the eligibility for JE main 2019 uh, will be like. And uh, uh, before I start off, I would like to say that uh, the minister had definitely said that there will be not many changes, you know, it's going to be almost similar. So, uh, except for maybe the uh, attempts, the number of attempts which may be tweaked, uh, there is no news on that anyway. Uh, let us get through with the eligibility. Uh, the first and foremost is the date of birth. So, if you want to write JM in 2019, you must have been born on or before October 1st, 1994. And uh, for reserved categories like SC, ST and PWD candidates, there is a relaxation of uh, 5 years. Uh, one more thing to remember is that the date of birth that will be considered will be in your class 10th uh, certificate. Uh, now, uh, you must have passed your class 12th in 2017-18 or you must be appearing for it in 2019 then only you will be eligible if you have you know um, written the exam in 2016 but you fail and then you rewrote the whole thing in 17 you will not be eligible so you have to have your first attempt in 2017 or 2018 or you must be appearing in 2019 the number of subjects that you must be taking are five and in that physics and maths is compulsory Optional subjects are chemistry, biology, biotechnology and some vocational sub, uh, subjects. In addition, you know, one language, you know. So in total, five subjects you must have studied in your class two. So that's one of the important things where maths and physics is compulsory. Now, contrary to many people's uh, thought, uh, for writing JE main, you do not require any, uh, you know, certain um, percentage. Because everyone is under the impression that you need 75%. No, you don't need to. You, you can just write it if you have uh, even 50%, 40%. If you have passed class 12th, you can write. But yeah, the eligibility, the percentage comes into force when you are actually considering the admissions to NITs and uh, IITs and all that. And uh, um, uh, this is actually primarily the number of subjects that we were talking about is physics and maths and compulsory thing that I've said is for BTEC. If you are a candidate who is appearing for a B architecture uh, program, then you will have to uh, have compulsorily studied maths. The remaining subjects, of course, there is no um, uh, specification about it, but you have to have studied maths because maths is very important for architecture. So number of attempts that uh, uh, that you can take for JE are normally three. That's what is given uh, in the brochure for last year. But since this year rules have changed, and you can give it twice a year so how many attempts that does that make uh, it makes i guess six so we are not very sure as of yet but for now uh, we are assuming that six attempts will be the norm for every student so this is the eligibility for J main if you have all these particular if you meet these parameters that we have just now specified you will be eligible uh, to write uh, J main 2019 you can apply on september 1st when the application forms will come in um, I hope uh, um, you write your exams well. Thank you. Like the video? Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay updated on other universities and entrance exams. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and www.careers360.com.